What's up, people? It's pretty early in the morning today. Uh, Jason went to Danielle's last night. Uh, they'll both be out here around noon today. I was planning on working on the shutters for the shed house, but it did rain last night, so all the boards are wet, so that's gonna have to be put off for another day. I did mention to Jason that I did wanna clear out some property. This little section over here, it's uh, pretty much what the rest of the property looked like when we first got it out here, so it is overgrown. There's a lot of little trees, stuff that needs to be removed out of here, so I figured why not, since I can't be building on the shed house today, clean up some of this property, make it look nice and clean whenever they get here, so. Once again, I'm going to start working on the property. I don't have a chainsaw today in this video, so I'm going to be using an axe, a pole saw, and a weed eater, and a push mower. So we'll see how far I can get. So let's get to work. All right, guys. So this is what it looks like before. I've got a lot of work ahead of me. Let's get to work. First things first, got to hydrate. Even my gloves are soaked. I left them in the side by side, but hey, it keeps my, my hands nice and cool. I think the first thing I'm gonna try to do is take out some of these, uh, I guess, smaller trees. They're probably about three or four inches wide. There's, uh, I'd say about three or four of them that I'm maybe cutting out. Like I said, I don't have the chainsaw, just using this trusty old ax. So, one more sip of water. Let's get to work. Hopefully this is not too hard. Ugh, there's just stuff everywhere. Right, guys so you can see behind me it's starting to get cleared up a little bit the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the pole saw to this big tree right here this big one and that one and i'm just gonna cut all the limbs off probably about 10 feet tall uh, that way there's plenty of room to walk under if he wants to build another structure over here he'll have plenty of room so that's what i'm gonna do next oh my gosh i'm already out of breath so let's get to work All right, people, so here's my progress so far. I'm starting from this tree, working my way over this way. It's starting to open up some. I've chopped down about four trees. I've trimmed up uh, that tree about 12 feet tall. Same thing with this one. And then this one right here. The next thing I'm gonna do is get the axis down here and try to clear up this underbrush. There's a lot of it. A lot of it's uh, something like this, where it's, I don't know, maybe four to five feet tall, maybe an inch or two at the bottom. So I'm gonna take the ax and try to cut up all that. Then I'll go back in with the weed eater and get all this uh, grass stuff that's here. And then uh, after that, clear up all the logs and hopefully this will be done. But it's definitely starting to get cleared up out here. That's for sure. Hopefully these aren't hard to get out. That'll work. Hopefully they're all that easy. The only bad thing is there's a lot of uh, rocks around here and I'm not trying to dull Jason's ax.
Alright, so once again, I'm starting from this tree, working my way pretty much all the way there to where the sawmill is, and then probably about 20 feet back, but whew, man, you can tell that uh, it's cleared out pretty good. Now it's time for me to go in with a weed eater and get all the little underbrush, and I think I'll be done. Oh my goodness, my arm is dead. I'm gonna show you guys this tool real quick here in a second, but first I'm gonna go sit down and rest for a bit and then we'll check back in. All right guys, this is what I was using for the weed eater. Jason bought this little attachment. It has little metal blades on it. So that's why I'm able to get that uh, heavy brush cut down with it. So uh, we picked it up from Lowe's. I don't remember the exact cost of it, but you could probably look it up online. It's just a weed eater attachment, just the head. I would recommend anybody that has this kind of terrain to get one of these. This is a lifesaver. It will save you from having to stop every basically 10 seconds to switch out the uh, string on it. But there you go, guys. It's got the little metal on the end of it. So I guess the theme to today's video is the only disability in life is a bad attitude. If you set your mind to it, you can get it done. Man, I feel accomplished with this. This was a lot of work. It took me about two hours to get this done. 
Looks totally different, gives Jason more land to build on. Looks like an actual yard now. I think I'm gonna try to knock this section out before him and Danielle get here as well. So I'm gonna take you in for a closer look on this. I'm not gonna be able to move these big logs. Some of them are rotted out. So that big log's gonna stay. This big log's gonna stay. But all these branches, I'm gonna try to push it back and then uh, come back in and clear up some of this underbrush, move this crate out of the way. And then you'll have an open clearing pretty much all the way around the entire house. So I'm gonna take a quick break and then we're gonna come right back at it and get this done. Maybe I underestimated this. This is gonna be a lot of work. So Matt just got done editing his video. He's over here helping me out. He's on the weed eater, trying to get some of this stuff down. We're trying to get this done for Jason and uh, Danielle get here. I'm still gonna cut down a few branches, move some stuff. There's still a lot of debris in there that needs to be moved out. So I'm gonna stop talking and get back to work. Alright guys, I'm done. 
Woo, my arm feels like jello. Matt was out here helping me out for a little while. He's over there back, uh, make sure his video's uploading, but yeah, huge game changer out here. Looks a lot different. I pushed all the big brush out that way. It opens up this whole section now around the house, so very pleased. All the way back over there and back behind the sawmill. Hey, you already finished it, Bubba? Heck yeah. I barely went back over there to check my phone. Jared Crocker don't play. What do you think? Uh, I don't really remember what it looked like before, <laughs> but at least it's... Nice and open. Down. You saw over here, though. Well, yeah, over here. I guess that's how all this was. Yeah, but... I think it's a... Has Danielle even seen the shed yet? No, she hadn't even been out here, but Jason should recognize all the work out here, but hopefully we can clear all this area out for him and then uh, he can... Did spray all this area for ticks too? No, I haven't sprayed that section yet. I'm probably gonna be eating up. Well, I haven't seen that one yet, knock on wood. Well, we but... sprayed about 20 feet out from the house, but... Do you have any more of that stuff left? Yeah, we still have some. Uh, maybe Matt, you can go around and spray it. All this area. And then uh, I'm gonna clean up some of the tools and stuff around the front of the shed, get everything nice and organized. Uh, organized. By the time they get up here, I'm sure Jason will be very happy and pleased with all the work. Danielle should be uh, shocked as well, so. Jason, I'm calling you out right now if you don't show up with steaks. Yeah, we're expecting some steaks. And I told Jason, bring me some Gatorade or something because I'm thirsty and I don't wanna drink any more water. I've already drank about a half gallon already, so. All right, guys, so I'm gonna wait for Jason and Danielle to get here. We're gonna get their reaction. And then uh, that should be the end of the video. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up the front of the house. And then uh, we'll check back in when they get here. Well, 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 look who just pulled in. The lovebirds. Yeah. That's right. Me and my baby. Good night. Anyways, <laughs> check out your sawmill. I cleaned it up for you. What do you think? You washed it? Yeah. I told the Lord to make it rain. Oh. And it washed it. I'll say you didn't wash it. Washed all the spiders out. Um, this is all cleaned up. <laughs> Shoot dang. It is a lot cleaner. You saw all that crap was over here? Yeah, it was a lot. And then over there too where the, uh, we you called had, all those cut looms. any trees or did, oh, yeah, that's a lot too. Yeah, that was, that was a lot. Was it more brush on the bottom or trees? Uh, cut out about six trees on this side that were probably about, I don't know, two or three inches wide, four inches wide, I don't know. I didn't have the uh, chainsaw, so I just did with the axe. Yeah, no, that's actually and, a lot cleaner. Went in and weed eated everything, so it looks a lot more open if you wanted to build something over there or put a little picnic table or something. I'm just curious why you didn't go further. Why didn't you just, you got lazy? Stop. <laughs> Anyways, people, that's his reaction. I knew it wasn't gonna be much. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, it looks a lot different, honestly. I mean, that I think that looks more different than this because that had all the uh, brush and stuff. Yeah, that's kind of where we had the piles, and then all the stuff was there. Then I, I, mean, I trimmed up the trees about. Did you 12, put the tree like that, or was it already like that? That was already like that. Oh. But I trimmed up all the trees right here about twelve feet. Oh, then it looks clean. In, in, case, in, in, case, in case you wanted to do something like a structure or something there, but I mean, yeah, it's definitely cleaned out for sure. Now the thing is, people. Comment down below if you think he's actually going to keep up with it. So, yeah, it's not going to grow back for a while. Until I come up again? Yeah, you'll All be right. back. Dang. All right, guys. Well, I'm tired of talking. It's been a long day. Danielle's here drinking a pickle beer. Yeah, it's delicious. Anyways, I'm going to end this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm tired. We're going to rest. The, we're going to rest. We're going to relax the rest of the day. Yep. And then uh, I don't know what we're going to get into, but check out Jason's channel. I don't know which one, but check it out. And then uh, check out Danielle's channel. I don't know which one, but anyways, tired of talking. See you on the next one. Peace. Peace.